Hey friends and Happy New Year. Today is 2021. It's New Year's Day and we are at the Magic Kingdom for the first official day in the parks of 2021. I am so excited. Park hopping has returned this year. We just recently discovered that you can actually park hop to multiple parks, maybe. We don't know if that's just kind of like a fluke, but we're gonna see what we could do. We're starting at Magic Kingdom and then we're gonna move along to another park. So, let's go do this. I am so excited to be here on New Year's Day and I'm not sure what ride I'm gonna make my first ride of the year. I got lots of good options here at the Magic Kingdom. And like I said earlier, park hopping is now available and actually some people have been reporting that they can go to all the parks, like they can do four parks in one day. I originally thought and also read that uh, you pick a park, you make a reservation, and then at two o'clock you have the ability to hop to another park. And I didn't know if they changed that or if this is just something they're working on, but like I said, we're gonna find out. We're gonna get all the details. <laughs> Anybody else notice how I just said details like a robot? I think I meant to say deets, but then also details, and it kind of came together like details. Something else I think I should point out as well, the Christmas decorations are still up in the Magic Kingdom, but they did change the music. It looks like we're back to the regular Magic Kingdom loop music, and the Christmas music is gone. I wonder if we're gonna see any cavalcades, or if the music switches over for the cavalcades. And I just found out that the Christmas cavalcades are gone. So all that's left is just the decorations. Music's gone, Christmas cavalcades gone. The spirit's still here though. Honestly, the looks of the crowds actually seem like it's empty in here. Now we don't know what it's like. Obviously there might be people like chewed up and waiting for rides, but the central hub, there's like nobody here. I'm very like happy with that. I think we're gonna head on over to Big Thunder Mountain, but first, it looks like the Move It, Shake It dance party's coming. Oh wait, no it's not. I don't know what this is. Gaston's walking down right now. <laughs> oh, look at that, and Peter. Hi, Mary. Happy New Year. Thank you. Mary Poppins likes my hat. She did, she I, liked I, your hat. I think 2021 is just complete. That's it. I'm good for the year now. And as I was saying, it's such a beautiful day. I wanted to try to pick the first ride of 2021 and I wanted it to be outdoors. So we're gonna see what the wait time for the wildest ride in the wilderness is. Looks like the wait time's about 45 that minutes, so that's not too bad. I would definitely wait 45 minutes for a Big Thunder Mountain. So we're gonna hop right in line. First ride of 2021, and we gotta remove our hats. <laughs> I'm not removing my hats. Best remove them. <laughs> Looks like we got our own caboose. Is that what you call them? A caboose? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah! 
would love to actually take a dip in those springs oh, right there. Need a dip in that. Look at that. It's warm out that's here. That's probably the most, that's the second famous Disney Springs. I absolutely love that we did Big Thunder Mount with for our first ride of 2021. You know, sometimes you kind of like have to like question your decisions, but not that. I was just like, wow, this is the perfect ride. It really was. Now I guess we're gonna head out of the park and make our first official park hop of 2021. I'm not sure which one we are gonna go to. I did hear that if the park is actually at capacity, like if you go hop on a bus or if you just ask or check the app, then they'll like give you warning signs. So if we hop and leave here and get a bus to go to Hollywood Studios, before we actually leave, they'll say, hey, I'm sorry, but this park is at capacity. So that's at least good. And I'm sure that they're gonna send out notifications through the app as well. Magic Kingdom is the park that's open the latest, which is kind of shockingly. Uh, a Hollywood studio closes at 7. Well, actually, I'll tell you exactly how it goes. Animal Kingdom closes at 6. Hollywood Studios closes at 7. Epcot at 8. And then Magic Kingdom at 9. So we're going to try to do Hollywood Studios and then maybe squeeze in Epcot if we can. If the monorail was actually running from the TTC to Epcot, I think we would go to Epcot first, but the monorail is still closed, sadly. It's only coming to the Magic Kingdom and the Resort Loop area. No monorail to Epcot. Surprise! We are at Animal Kingdom. Quick change of plans. After we figured out that it is okay to actually do all four parks in one day, we decided why not go for it. Animal Kingdom closed at six. Magic Kingdom was open the latest, so we already got that done. So we figured we'd hop over here and then go to Hollywood Studios and then Epcot and see if we could do it. We're on a little bit of a time crunch, but I think we're gonna make it. I am so excited to be able to park hop and do the four parks in one day challenge again. This is unbelievable. You know, a long time ago, I did four parks in four hours and did four rides. Four rides, four parks, four hours. And that was such a fun, and that was a fun vlog. I really loved that. Like I said earlier, Animal Kingdom closes at six. So it's 527, 33 minutes, and then Hollywood Studios before seven and Epcot before eight. This is gonna be tough. Are you excited? <laughs> This is such a surprise. I was not expecting to do this today. I am so thrilled. Like I said, with only 33 minutes left in the park, it seems like everyone's left already. Can you believe it? I, I can't. I'm in shock. So we're gonna, like I said, try to get on one ride and bounce before six. Hollywood Studios by seven, Epcot by eight. That's four parks <laughs> That's one day. Fun, but we're gonna give it a try. We're gonna give it a go. Let's give it the old go. Another challenging thing is though, we want to see if we can ride a ride in each of the parks. So this is going to make it a, a challenge. This is going to make it so much fun. I am so excited. I don't know. Can you tell? Can you tell? <laughs> Looking at the tree of life, they still have their Christmas decorations, but the music is gone. Like the Christmas music. I think it's back to its regular Animal Kingdom loop music. Since we did Big Thunder Mountain, maybe Expedition Everest? I mean, we should definitely try. All right. Yeah. All right. Expedition yeah. Everest. We're doing it. Yeah. <laughs> I really believe there's going to be no weight, Jackie. Like, I bet you it's going to be a walk-on. Oh, I'm praying it's a walk-on. Yeah, <laughs> I love this time of the day where it's just starting to sunset and then the lights turn on. I love these lights. This is so beautiful. Absolutely amazing, guys. It's a walk-on. Look at Everyone's just literally just walking right on. <laughs> I thought for a second we were going to have our whole train to ourselves. That would have been amazing. A couple people are coming right now, though. Oh! I love riding Expedition Everest at kind of at night. I'm sorry if I scream. I apologize already. <laughs> oh! It makes the ride better. You gotta scream. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. What's that crack? <laughs> Oh my lord, this is the worst place to get stuck. No, 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 no. We're not stuck, don't say that. Oh boy. Those things look like wicker mitts. Oh. Holy crap. Like we're shaking right now. Oh boy, guys. 
no, 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 Nathan. Oh my lord. Oh! Okay, we're going oh! <laughs> you were gonna scream! Oh boy! Ah! Scary. Are we gonna get the bird? Look at that, guys. Beautiful. Here it comes. There's the bird. Come on, give us the bird. No bird. Oh my lord, I think that was my scariest ride on Expedition Everest ever. When we got stuck on the hill, I was like kind of geeking out a little bit because I thought maybe we would like slowly roll down and that would be like a dream come true. But we did get to enjoy the rest of the ride and it was so amazing. As soon as we got off Expedition Everest, we found a happy lunar year spirit jersey. I just feel totally compelled to get this right now. They even have ears too. Now this one is a little bit special edition, I feel like, so I, I have to get it. It does cost a little bit more, it's $75. A little bit more uh, pricey than the regular spirit jerseys. Now we got our Lunar New Year spirit jerseys. We need to rush. We need to rush. We need we got to- got excited with the shopping. Yeah, we need to get on over to Hollywood Studios. Oh gosh, yeah. <laughs> 555 guys look at that 555 so that means what did we get in here we got in here at road expedition everest and bought spirit jerseys in 20 minutes in like half an hour yeah less than a half, an, than hour. half an hour yeah wow we need to get walking out but this is the first time i've seen animal kingdom at night with the christmas lights on because the park's been closing at five except on the weekends so when i came to do my christmas animal kingdom vlog i wasn't able to see it at night I wish I could just stay and watch the uh, Tree of Life come to life. I don't know if they're doing the Christmas projections, but at least I got to see the lights. Oh, wow. Bye, friends. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. 2021. Oh, happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Bye. Bye. Happy New Year. Oh, that was so great. There's still more. Look at, they're lined up down that side. And then up here, they're even still doing it. Wow. How awesome was it that all those cast members were saying Happy New Year and goodbye. That was such a treat. So amazing. But now we need to get to Hollywood Studios. And now we are at Disney's Hollywood Studios. I am so excited. This is amazing. Oh, boy. This is awesome. I am so excited. 627. The same exact time we walked into Animal Kingdom. 33 yeah. minutes in the park. That's what we got. What can we get done in 33 minutes? Looks like the uh, Tower of Terror Christmas projections are gone. And the music is also gone as well. So we're seeing basically all the Christmas music is now officially over with in the parks. Decorations are up, but no Christmas. Oh, look at this. And then we're gonna see some characters, Chip and Dale, Goofy, Minnie, Daisy, Pluto. Oh, and then Mickey Mouse in his hot rod convertible. Hiya, pal. 
Started walking towards Toy Story Land and seeing the line is already out to the actual Woody sign. So that's telling me it's about 45 minutes to an hour and we don't have that kind of time. So we need to regroup and come up with a new plan. I think a trip to the Twilight Zone is a good ride for our park at Hollywood Studios. For our ride at Hollywood Studios. I said that backwards. This is really turning into a challenge, guys. Honestly, like, you know, we always make fun of how it's easy to do a four-part challenge, but these legs haven't felt that in a while. <laughs> well, this is a little sad because we really wanted to get a ride in at Hollywood Studios, but it looks like Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway went down, and so was Rock and Roller Coaster, so that increased the wait times at all the other rides, like, substantially. Like, I think Tower Terror is at a 60-minute wait, and, uh... Toy Story, uh, Slinky Dog Dash is like 60 minutes as well, so I think since we got to see the parade and uh, at least we got here, I think we're just going to head right over to Epcot and still just so we can complete the four parks, you know what I mean, in one day. Oh boy, this is it! We did it! Please let me know, we hit four parks, be me then just say so. This is it! <laughs> It's so funny because last night we were here for New Year's Eve and here we are back again as our last park on our first time park hopping for 2021. This is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Good evening. Good evening. Thanks, Nathan. Hey, we did it. Hold on. Hold on. I got to go. <laughs> we, right. we did it. We did it. <laughs> Anything that happens after this, yep. we have officially conquered four, four parks. parks one day. First Actually, day of uh, four parks, four hours. Four parks, four hours. Yeah, so four, five, six, seven, four. Anything after this is a bonus. We have yep. done it. It's so awesome. We are here at New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. This oh, is yeah. great. So. Uh, the last park was 2020, it was at Epcot, and then 2021, we did all four of them. <laughs> Looks like the crowds here are definitely a little bit higher. 45 minutes for Spaceship Earth. Wowza. We were really hoping to maybe ride Test Track, and uh, it's looking like we're not. 125 minute wait. I have never seen that long of a wait for Test Track before. Wow. I have never seen it this long before. First time. First time for this. This is crazy, crazy. Hey man, how are ya? Oh no, I'm not going in. No, 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 no. <laughs> what? <laughs> so obviously the line actually bends all the way up there but if you take a look over here it also goes all the way down that way almost to mission space you see how they're lining up on the side there and then you get in the queue here and wrap all the way over here this is not like an hour and 20 minutes this is like a three hour wait i feel like there's no way i've never never i've always said that most people park hop to epcot at the end of the night I, I just think that's like the park. I think Epcot is the park hopping spot. And let me know in the comments, what was your go-to like nightly end the night park? Always Epcot, like I would spend all day at Magic Kingdom and then finish it up at Epcot. So that literally may be why the lines are so long here today is everybody park hopped over to Epcot, you know? And it looks like if you want to ride Frozen, you're going to have to come to China because this is where the line is starting. And basically, they have like a little separator point right here. This is long. I'm thinking it's around 120 minute wait for Frozen itself. Like this is all the queue actually right inside here. Wow. As we were actually walking around checking the wait times, we were looking for a ride so that we can ride here at Epcot. But because they are super long, I think we're going to head right back down to Spaceship Earth. But we don't have much time, so we're going to have to rush over there. I rushed over to get in line with one minute to spare for Spaceship Earth. Holy moly. Oh, we made it. Spaceship Earth. Thingy. Right there goes the end of the line. So 
once he gets up to the top of that hill there, no one else can join. I'm just waiting for someone to run by. We just barely made it. <laughs> this makes me so happy to end the night thanking the Phoenicians. Let's thank them for this wonderful day that we had. All the park hopping, a great start to 2021. And we should also thank them for the alphabet. This hostile world is where our story begins. We are alone, struggling to survive, until we learn to communicate with one another. Remember how easy it was to learn your ABCs? Thank the Phoenicians. They invented them. And with that, friends, I think we're gonna call it a night. This was such an unexpected, amazing night for me. One of my favorite vlogs of all time, because it was just like, I thought we were coming in and park hopping and only going to one park. Find out you can do all four and we just went for it. Even though time was against us, we made it happen and it was so fun to do again. Anyways, I hope you have a very prosperous 2021. I'm excited for all the future videos this year and all of the adventures I, I get to take you guys on. I'm so blessed that I'm actually able to do all of these fantastic things. And I hope you enjoy the videos. We'll see you next time. Bye.